<laughs> so I recently got back from a trip and I brought the LTT store backpack with me. So I figured why not talk about what's in my tech bag? Life's Tech Tips Backpack Edition. Of course, this is YouTube. So if you're interested in anything that I show off here, there are links down below in the description. I already know what you're thinking. What phone did I bring with me? Well, if you watched my previous day in the life traveling video on the Google Pixel 7 Pro, you know that I brought the Pixel 7 Pro, but I also brought the iPhone 14 Pro Max as a backup that uh, came in handy if uh, you watched that video. You should probably check it out up here in the description. So it's really neat. This one has like, really deep zippers here so you can really open it up a lot. Oh, here's a cookie. It's a corn cookie. It's cold. Oh, so this first accessory is a Spigen MagSafe battery pack that obviously goes on to an iPhone and you can start charging it here. But because of this case here for a moment, I can also charge my Google Pixel 7 Pro with MagSafe. So that's pretty neat. You can also charge from it directly with the USB-C port. The other thing that I had is this Nomad little battery bank here that has a tile built into it. I think this is actually discontinued, so you can't really buy it, but it's really neat because you have a USB-C port and a USB-A port and you have that tile functionality in case you lose it and you need to find it. And it's fairly small and compact with a nice little grippy finish to it. So I also don't think any other battery bank out there has a tracker built into it like this one. So that'd be really interesting if Apple did that, right? I have considered bringing the Omni Charge Omni 20 Plus with me because it has a full size three prong plug on it. It has a wireless charger built onto it. It has a cool little display on it so you can see things on it, but it's uh, pretty big and it's also really heavy. So taking up a ton of space, adding weight, probably not the best fit. All right. And we have here, it's my Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch. This thing is a beast. It not only performs extremely well while traveling for things like video editing, but it also has really great battery life, which is really important for a travel laptop. So I use this for answering my emails, editing in DaVinci Resolve, interacting with you on social media and everything else. Now, along with that, I have the Spigen ArcStation Pro. This is a 100 watt charger that has two USB-C plugs on here. Now, why do I bring this instead of the official Apple charger for my laptop? Top. It's because it is so much bigger and yes, it does charge a little bit faster, but it only has one plug here. And when you're traveling, you're trying to pack as few things as possible. So having two plugs built into it makes a lot of sense. All right. And then I have this Steam Deck. This is tons of fun for when you're on the plane or on some sort of car ride or anything like that. And you just want to be able to play or decompress. This thing is pretty insane. You can play some pretty stellar games on here that are really quite good. I do wish the battery life was a little bit better, but if you're playing this on something like a plane, then you can charge it from there. One thing to point out, there is a lot of room that was left over in here, so I didn't actually fill it all up. So this thing is quite spacious. So over here, we have a little case here for batteries for my camera. This will come in handy later on. We have a really nice pen here from Nomad. This little sleeve here for my SD cards and CF Express A cards for my camera. So I put it in the front so it's really easy to access. And you probably notice here that I have a whole bunch of this on here. So it's actually gas. Tape. I can't bring a whole roll with me when I'm traveling, so I just put some gaff tape on my backpack to bring some with me. This is really great if something breaks, rips, or maybe you need to kidnap someone by wrapping up their wrist, putting some tape over their mouth, and putting them in a trunk, or... <laughs> Or it also really helps it uh, stand out in case uh, someone else has an LTT store backpack. Believe it or not, there's someone else on the trip with this backpack, so this actually came in handy. Over here in this top pocket here, I have a mask and these little earbuds that are really nice for when you're on a plane. So if you have ears that are really sensitive to cabin pressure or that feeling when you're taking off or landing, these can really help alleviate some of that pressure there in the plane. So I like using that because sometimes my ears, they'll pop after I've landed, it'll still feel feel all weird and stuff. And then over here on the side, we have this little pocket here that you can actually reach into and grab something. So I'll do it that way. I have some various cables here. So I have a very long USB-C cable and a cable here with a lightning port on the end. I can't wait to get rid of that from the iPhone. Unzipping this. And over here, we have this right here. This is the LG Tone Free FE9 earbuds. They do have active noise cancellation built into them. They sound pretty decent. But the real reason why I bring this on every single trip where I'm flying comes from this cable right here. This is a USB-C 201 eighth jack right here. So what's really cool about this is that you can plug it into this case here and then plug the other end into the headphone jack on your plane. So if you're watching a movie or something like that, you have the option of having wireless Bluetooth earbuds on the plane watching a movie. Cookie break. Mm. 
Okay, now this gets really crazy. Check this out right here. In this case, we have this. These are pretty crazy. And you're probably thinking, okay, Brennan, these are just a normal pair of sunglasses, but you're both right in wrong. These are not any ordinary pair of sunglasses. Sure, they feel high quality and they're quite lightweight, but the Ampere Dust Smart Glasses have some pretty neat tech inside of them. Look at, that's the tech right there. You're looking right at it. But uh, can you see it? Uh, let me uh, show you because it's pretty wild. There it is. <laughs> so I have this handy little app here that helps me show it off. And when I do this, look what happens. I can change it to light or dark. It's pretty freaking cool and discreet, right? I have little tint levels I can adjust granularly and there's presets there. These lenses are electrochromic, so you can instantly change the tint levels at will. You can do this through the app or adjust it with this toggle here on the sunglasses. The app does give you more darkness levels, so you can also play a sound so you can find them in case you lose them. And even better, there are speakers in them so you can listen to music and podcasts and take calls all through the frame, so that's pretty convenient. Of course, there's a link in the description if you want to pick them up. And since NPR is sponsoring this portion of the video, they gave me a 20% off coupon that all of you can use, so make sure you use the promo code Tech Today 20 at the checkout. Seriously, how cool are these? I love them. All right, this other thing, I need a drink right now. Hold on. LTD store. So over here where you would normally put a water ball, I have this. This is a Peak Design carbon fiber tripod. So this is really important for when I want to film things on my camera on the go. It's fairly light, has a whole bunch of neat things in here. You have your built-in tool. You have this little thing right here, you pull open here, twist, and now you have this little option to mount a smartphone onto the tripod. Also in this little pocket over here where you would normally put your water bottle, there's this little pocket here where you can put an air tag. At first I didn't know it was here, so I was gonna tape it with gaff tape to the top, but someone told me about the little pocket here. Yeah, pretty sweet. Inside of here, kind of cheated a little bit, I have a tech pouch that I use kind of like a camera cube. So here is my camera here, but I have an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom right here. And that allows me to easily mount my camera on to here, lock it in place, and it's good to go. If I want something that's a little bit more mobile, I go to this next accessory. This is the PGY Tech Mantis pod right here, and guess what? It also uses the Arca Swiss plate here. I can lock it in place, and now I have this here for vlogging, or if I just want to set it down somewhere, this little tripod here, see, you got that, tabletop tripod, and it even has uh, this right here, so we have a variety of options and flexibility with this whole setup here. Over here, we have a four terabyte GTEC external SSD, and then we have this here, this is a Samsung T7, this is a two terabyte model. They're both great, but this one seems to be a little bit more robust. Oh, we also have this charging puck here for the Google Pixel Watch, which I also bring with me. Over here, I have this travel mouse here. This is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S. It does use micro USB, so that's kind of a bummer. Over here, we have some fun little lights here from Aperture. These are the Aperture MCs. So these are RGB lights. They have bicolor capabilities for white, or you can change it to like blue or any other color. And they charge with USB-C, so that's really nice. Oh, and they're also magnetic, so you can plop them on like a door frame or something like that and have some light. And with the Sidus Link app on your phone, you can actually control it remotely. Over here, we have an action camera from Insta360. This is actually the One RS model and it is really cool. Right now I have the 360 camera set up on here so it's really easy to just open it up and then either get a crazy bull time shot which I think is really neat or just hold it out and you can get a really nice option of capturing your environment and then being able to reframe it later on in post. And the part that's really cool about this is that it's all modular so if you can totally take it apart and then put on a different lens if you want to which is really cool. Over here we have a card reader for my camera. So I have here, it's a, a full-size SD card that can fit in into the reader like this. And here's a CF Express A card that fits in here like this one. So this one's a little bit different looking, uh, but it's how I can get that slow motion at 4K at the highest bit rate. Okay, over here, I have this little thing right here that's kind of like a giant AirPod case, but inside of it is uh, some microphones from DJI that are really cool. So I can just mount this on top of my camera if I want to. I can actually mount it onto my phone if I want to, or I can just record directly from from these without this little receiver right here. This is what I was able to use 
in my day in the life video. It sounded okay and got the job done, but I should have done it differently like I've done in previous videos. But these are really cool because you can record into this receiver. So if it's on top of your camera, to record into the actual camera feed there. And if you want to, you have this redundant option of being able to record on the actual transceivers themselves. Now, the way that I would have improved the audio on my day in the life video is in this little case right here. This is the Sankin COS 11D lavalier microphone. And what's neat about it is that it has this little thing right here that you can put it into so it doesn't hear all the ruffles from your clothes and stuff. And I have all of these little stickies here so I can tape it onto my shirt so you don't really see it. Now, the reason why I didn't bring this on my day in the life video is because imagine going through the airport with a bunch of wires underneath your shirt and uh, you go through the metal detector and x-ray and stuff. It's just gonna look a little weird. If you watch my real world camera review of the Pixel 7 Pro, this is the microphone that I use with it. And the audio on that one sounds pretty dang good. To go along with that is this little pouch right here that has these things called a dead cat. This makes it sound a lot better if you're in a windier area. I wish I was wearing this in that day in life video while traveling, but um, it is what it is. There's still a few more things to look over, but right here we have a THX DAC here, just in case I need to plug into something. Here I have the Blessing 2s. These are in-ear monitors. They sound really dang good and it helps me hear any sort of issues that might be there. So that makes it so I can mix my audio up to my standards. Okay, so I know I mentioned the LG Tone Free earbuds, but that's not the only pair of earbuds that I have. I actually have a few. So this little pocket right here, I have more. I have two actually. So the obvious one if you have an iPhone is the Apple AirPods Pro 2. These have great transparency modes, some pretty solid ANC, and some really stellar sound. They also work really, really good with the iPhones. Plus you have the Find My Network if you lose them and all that other stuff. It's really just kind of a great option when you're traveling. And then I have these right here. These are the Bose QuietComfort Earbuds 2. And these have insane active noise cancellations. It also has a pretty stellar transparency mode. And on the back you'll probably notice they have all these little things of gaff tape. And that's so I can test ear earbuds on the go by covering up their sensors. It's kind of crazy. For my last trip, I actually swapped out a few items that are in here with a recorder that allowed me to test the ANC capabilities on an actual airplane. That's going to come up in a future video and there'll be a link down below in the description. But yeah, it kind of looked like I was constructing a bomb. So that's kind of crazy. Now there are some things I'm thinking about swapping out here and there. So here are some options. So right here I have the JBL Quantum TWS earbuds. There are two things that make it really amazing. One that places the audio engineer because it has a crazy cut custom EQ option that you can just go crazy with. But for most of you, this is what's most interesting. It's this little dongle right here. This is a USB-C dongle. That means you can plug this into anything with a USB-C port, and now you have low latency gaming. So it'll work on the, your Android phone, your Switch, whatever. As long as it has audio pass-through through USB-C, this will work. So I'm really strongly considering swapping out something like maybe the Bose earbuds with these just because it's so convenient. If you haven't noticed by now, I have different earbuds for different use cases. <laughs> the other thing I'm considering adding is the Focal Batiste headphones. These are really high-end wireless Bluetooth headphones that sound incredible. Focal is really well known in the audiophile community and they, I mean, like you just get this because they sound so dang good. They also have the option of plugging it in and it has a built-in DAC so it sounds even better. It's it's pretty crazy. Where There's going to be a full review of these on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post that video. I'll be comparing these with the AirPods Max, the Bose NC700s, and the Sony WH1000XM5s. I can't believe I remembered that name. As a whole, the LTT Store backpack has been awesome. I'm really shocked at how much this can actually hold. So I think they did a really good job. It feels extremely sturdy with a lot of high quality materials here. The only thing I would say is that it's not particularly oriented towards camera users. That's why I have that little camera cube there. And one thing to be fair with is that camera cube makes it so you can actually slide it underneath the seat on the plane, but you just take it out, put it on your lap, slide it underneath the seat. And then when you're done, put it back in and you can get away with it. You don't have to check a bag. I did it it was perfectly fine. Well, this thing felt very comfortable. It was very easy to travel with. You have this little strap right here so you can put it on your luggage and wheel it around. It just was phenomenal. So good job Linus and the team. And uh, yeah, I don't know, sponsor me. <laughs> So yeah, that's what's in my tech bag. It's what I actually bring with me because I'm filming things out and about and I need all the things to do my job making content for you. Of course, if you want to find out more information about any of them or purchase them, there are links down below in the description. I'd love to know what you think about all the things that I have in here, anything that you think I should switch out. So leave a comment down below in the description and make sure to join the This Is Tech Today community Discord chat server. There's a link in the description for that as well. We'd love to have you. All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.